Hi everybody, it's Russell Markham here from VectVest. I'm going to talk to you today about stop losses. Now just before we do so, please note our financial services license here. In addition, please note general advice only today. We cannot take into account your personal circumstances. Note too that past performance is not a guarantee of future results. So any forecasts and back tests, which we'll show you today, used or discussed in this presentation, are intended as a guide only and actual results may be affected by known or unknown risks and uncertainties and therefore may differ materially from the results ultimately achieved. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close out of here and we're going to hop into VectVest. I've got three different back tests I want to show you. So starting off on the first one here, I'm going to click on edit here just to show you the settings. Don't get so concerned about exactly how I set up the back test. It's more the, the idea being that I'm going to show you how the stop loss can effectively affect the end results. So all these tests are the same apart from the stop loss. All right, so I've just applied all the standard settings here. And in addition here, what I've done, I've used the confirm signals. So this is using the powerful back tester tool. In order to be able to do all this, you do need auto timer. All right, you can take out a 30 day trial to auto timer should you choose. On the automation rules up, I'm simply using prudent performers found within the, the searches prudent folder in UniSearch. And then what I've done here is in each and every one of the back tests is I have played with the stop loss. So in this particular case, it's using a gain loss, 20% gain, 12% loss under more settings. And you can see here, all those settings will be the same for all the portfolios here, all the back tests. So coming back to the stop loss, applying a 20% gain, 12% loss, using the prudent performers search with all the settings I've just shown you, we get a equity curve along the lines of this. Very, very powerful indeed. 48% were winners, 106% gains. So this was since the 9th of January 2019 through to the 14th of March. Compound rate of return, just shy of 19%. Annualized, just over 25%. Max drawdowns, the most it lost from a peak to trough cycle. It uh, might have been around about here or possibly here. Uh, the max drawdown there was 15.24%. You can see here, total commissions, $5,640 worth of trades. Now, bearing in mind, it's $20 per trade on this back test. All right. So you look at this and you go, okay, all right, you know, pretty reasonable, pretty uh, good drawdown there, not a bad looking equity profile. So maybe this is a back test that you are using to decide on a type of trading strategy. Now, what I suggest you do to tweak and improve things is once you've set something up, you then right click on it and you can make a copy. All right, so you make a copy. It uh, makes a copy. So there it is. It's called copy. And then away you go. And you can keep all the settings the same. The only thing you're going to change here if you're testing stop losses is to tweak and modify your stop losses and see what happens. Let's cancel out of here. So let's say I made a copy. And this is my copy. And then I made this change. So the only change I made here on the stop loss, in this case here, I'm using the recommended stop. This will choose an appropriate stop based on the attributes of the stock stocks when they are added to your portfolio. Safe, undervalued stocks rising in price will be given looser stops. Risky, overvalued stocks falling in price will be given tighter stops. I'm applying the intraday stops as well. All right, so based on this, the back test, it came down slightly from the 20% gain, 20% loss, but look at the total commission. It went from 5,640 to 3,800. So this here brings down the number of trades I'm doing. Still a very good annualized return from 25 down to 19, but that, that's still a very good return. Compound rate of return, 18.97 down to 15.33. And the max drawdowns neither here nor there, 15 versus 17. The reason why I'm showing you this is because perhaps this was the one that you started with to begin with. Maybe you had chosen the prudent performers search and you'd done a back test. And as it turned out, your starting point might have been, for argument's sake, to use the trailing average true range stop. In this particular case, I've used a 30 period and a 2 multiply. And again, don't get hung up so much about the stop loss as such. I'm just 
bringing this up for demonstration purposes here, but perhaps this was your starting point. And when you ran the back test, you might have looked at it and gone, well, it only made 14% returns and it only annualized the average rate of return there, 3.48, compound of 3.33 with a 21 drawdown. You might have been forgiven for saying, well, no, this is really not, <laughs> not my cup of tea. And then you looked at the commissions and went, oh my goodness, far too many trades. $15,840 worth of trades. My goodness, I'll be doing a lot of trades each month. But that's the starting point. So what I'm saying is what you then do, right click, make a copy. Once you've made the copy, bring it up and then modify the stop and keep testing. Keep working away. You will be rewarded because you can see here, right, the ATR stop loss. Then we went on to the recommended stop. It improved things dramatically. Much better returns, much lower commission. And then here the 20% gain, 20% loss, improved the returns further, did increase the trades a bit more, however, but uh, brought down the drawdown. Now, at the end of the day, when asked the question then, what stop loss should I apply? We cannot advise you personally, but what we can tell you is set up your trading plan in Backtester. When you're going to buy, what you're going to buy, apply your stop loss, apply all your rules in there, all right? in the back tester as we give it there to you and then once you've run your first back test then see if you can improve it by modifying the stop losses so to answer the question what's the best stop loss well depends in this in this particular case here so far with the back testing for myself i would say something along these lines here i'd be very happy with the recommended stop for this parameter set because it gives me a very low amount of trades it gives me pretty decent returns and also keeps the drawdown in check so for me that one jumps out now for you maybe it's this one here you go well you know it's not that much extra in trades and it's a bit of an extra kick up in terms of the return so i like that plus it's got a lower drawdown so that's the one for me i think it's fair to say that all of you watching this video the recording here I think it's fair to say that these two certainly jump out much better. All right, so this one and this one jump out much better than the first one here. So in this particular case, based on this uni search, the, the prudent performers uni search here, I certainly would not be uh, looking at an ATR 30 with a two multiplier. I'd rather be looking at the recommended stop or the 20% gain, 20% loss on that back test as of the start of 2019. So therein answers the question, which is the best stop loss to use? Run your trading strategy through the back tester. So set up your trading plan and do the back test and then tweak and modify the stop loss. It's worth putting in just a little bit of extra time. Just do it a few extra times, test it. You know, I'll try the stop loss and I'll try that stop loss and I'll try this variation on the stop loss until one jumps out at you and then you've got your answer i'm not saying that these two are necessarily the best stop losses for these parameter sets but as long as they meet your expectation if you're happy with that well then the stop loss applies to this one here you'd be happy with the outcome so therefore that is the stop loss there that would work for these parameter sets so to answer the question, what stop loss would you use, provided that you're happy with the outcome here, it would be that stop loss there. So that answers the question, what stop loss should I use? Run your trading plan through VectVest, do the back test, tweak the stop loss, and therein lies your answer. I hope this has been of value. Make sure you're using Auto Timer to carry out your back tests, stress test your back tests, stress test and formulate to see what the outcomes will be. And you get your answers in terms of what works best in terms of a stop loss. I hope you've enjoyed this short presentation. Bye for now.